Hey, Internet friend, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. You got your uh, duck? No. <laughs> I've got a new friend over on the other side of the planet right now. She's over in Spain, I believe, and her name is Tiffany Crisara. Are you there? I am. Hello. <laughs> over the other side of the pond with the duck. <laughs> what? Yes, the other side of the big duck. What, what, uh, what time is it over there now, where you are? In Spain, it's quarter past four. P.M. In the afternoon. Yeah. yeah. Wow, because it's, it's you just started over here, quarter after nine a.m. Minneapolis Central Time. Ta da! Time is a weird thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's an illusion. So I don't do these too long. I do them kind of quick and let people uh, so they got their valuable, you know, time commodity. Because time is something that we all have in common. The same twenty-four hours, just like you might say. What do you guys? You guys do that that clock where it's a twenty-four hour clock. We take it and split it and do two twelves. <laughs> okay so let's get with it well are you married you got kids what uh, what's up with tiffany oh that's a complex story the one that would uh, take more than 15 minutes i'm in a long distance marriage my husband is in england um i have a stepdaughter she lives with him full time and i have a daughter in the spirit world who was four months old when she passed so it's uh I have my moon square Pluto. I don't know if you know much about that in astrology, but it's a bit of a not not normal kind of mother, <laughs> if there is such <laughs> thing as <laughs> normal. <laughs> I'm not, I don't know. The whole astrology thing is confusing because there's so many different elements to it, but I'm sure I'm, I fall into that not normal spot too. I'm a, a Gemini, so I'm, I've got the artist and the logic blend it into one and it gets kind of weird sometimes too we just had that, that we just had that eclipse over here you know the moon and you the did. sun tugging on us you <laughs> did absolutely all the way across the united it states it did from, from the about 100 years is that from right? the upper upper left to the lower right so oregon to florida or, wow amazing yeah it was good also, five planets in Gemini, completely artist, logic, kind of weird, <laughs> eccentric mix. <laughs> Absolutely, we are a little different. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. I like it too. So with all that, uh, we'll call it, uh, endearingly call it woo-woo stuff, what, what is it you do? You do, you got a, a couple of books I saw on your website, and what specifically is it that you do for people? Well, I mainly work with tarot but I don't work with it like I don't see myself as a reader what I do is I take people through it as a living journey so they actually get to meet each of the archetypes have you ever seen Joan of Arcadia I've heard of it I have not seen it okay so it's basically about this girl Joan it's a it's a child's program and she goes out on the street and she meets God every day in a different way. It could be the postman or the milkman. Well, that's what I do. I help you to see that in your day-to-day -day life via using the archetypes in the journey of the 78 cards. That is the tarot. Okay. And that leads to a deep transformational truth in you because each one steps forward with a message for you. So it's like around your world in 78 days. I get it. That's cool. Um, me and my wife had come up with a thing called the synchronicity experience. And what you do, you set out an intention, and then you just walk through town and look for coincidences, things uh -huh. that are coincidental, and it kind of brings you to a destination. So it's uh, there you go. very cool. How, how long have you been doing this? Well, uh, Tarot Fest came into my life when I was four. So that was the first start of the journey. I started reading when I was 14 for myself, but it was very dark because I was a bit of a goth as a teenager and I didn't understand, you know, that tarot is a mirror. Um, it was painful. It led to obsessive compulsive disorder. And then when I was 19, I was pregnant with my daughter and I did a reading and I saw that I was going to lose her. And I decided to deny that, just like I was denying every time I'd read the tarot. It was like, no, nope, don't want to listen to you. So I thought if I just shut that away, then, and just pretend that I never did it and don't tell anyone, then it won't happen. And that was my way of trying to deal with it. 
didn't work. So um, when my daughter was born, she was born with a very rare terminal condition and she passed at four months. And when that happened, I started telling people what I had seen. And instead of them saying, well, don't do that again, they started saying, would you read for me? And I was pretty shocked at that. Sure. Um, but I started to think, well, maybe there's a way that I can learn to work with the tarot that helps people to live through what they have to live through. And um, so I studied it. I opened up my center in London when I was 26, closed that three years later, went to work for some of the top companies in London, got headhunted to teach the tarot. That ended up as a needing to write manual which got published and that won an award for the best best spiritual book of 2012 and then that got me on the tv doing readings and then I realized that my book was all about not predicting not really using tarot for prediction and it's so funny how the guides do that they you put something down in writing and then they put you in a situation where you're really challenged with that and on the tv it was all like prediction based or entertainment only based and that yeah. was really not where I was coming from with it so I left and I started the transformational truth of tarot in 2014 Christmas time 2014 okay yeah a lot of people they Sorry. see a lot of people see <laughs> these things and they they kind of poo poo them like like can you really read the future well, are you really reading the future? Or are you just kind of divining what's going to going to happen inevitably, anyways? Because I know that that Christmas is going to come. It's going to snow out. Yeah. I'm predicting the future. But some people look at it so, uh, what do you call it, like negatively or uh, skeptically. And uh, I keep an open mind. You never know how this stuff works. I've had some very strange things happen in my life too. And I'm, my background, I'm not sure if you know, but I, I did magic as a kid, magic with a G. You know, magical entertainment. But it makes you think about. Is something real or is it not? Mm. And it really makes people wonder. But some people kind of put it off as, no, it's not. But um, my wife, was. she also does things with a lot of different things. She's a shaman, so she works with essential oils and uh, a little bit of tarot and a little bit of uh, numerology and some uh, multiple tools in her belt, so to speak. So I get to experience a lot of that stuff. So I kind of get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I call it supernatural like there is nothing woo woo about it it is yeah. super natural it's just the oh supernatural no think of the word it's super natural that's all it well, is well i'll tell you a yeah. quick little story i used to be um i started out as of course uh, atheist because there can't be something like that then i went agnostic thinking well there's got to be something and i eventually got on to believing in god because i had some experiences where i i went out to California with $600 and I survived for two years. I had no idea how that works. That's kind of miraculous in and of itself. Absolutely. <laughs> if you look at things that way, you know. Did you work during those two years? I've never worked. <laughs> I've, always, I've always been self-employed and doing what I like. Um, yeah, I, you're a man of my own heart. <laughs> in, in, in a nutshell, I had a business that uh, the internet came in and changed things, so it all fell apart, and I had a partner that did some things that uh, wasn't supposed to be done, and I unplugged and I ran away to California with a sleeping bag and did nothing for a couple of years. So no, I didn't work, but I did a little magic, twisted a few balloons, did some event stuff for a couple of years, then I came back here to Minneapolis, Minnesota. But the, the, the point is, it was miraculous in how that even happened. It's kind of amazing. So people that don't believe in certain things. I think they need to open their eyes a little bit. And to, like, here's another example. And I don't want to take over your interview because this is really about you. But the concept, the concept of the the eclipse that we just had over here in the United States, the sun, which is has gravitational pull to it, and the moon, which also has gravitational pull to it, they were in an alignment. So if the if the moon can move the ocean tides. And our bodies that consist of mostly water, wouldn't it have some kind of effect? I don't know what kind of effect, but it has some kind of effect when you got that big body of celestial stuff pulling your energy towards the it's gonna do something. I don't know what it did, but it was weird yesterday. 
<laughs> on August the 11th, I don't know if you had it in the USA, but in the UK, in August the 11th, 1999, we had the big eclipse that went dark completely in the middle of the day. And um, that was on my birthday. Oh, really? And the eclipse <laughs> yesterday. Yeah, it was on my birthday. And the eclipse yesterday was supposed to be a culminating, culmination point of that because it was in Leo again. So it takes that long for it to come back round. And they say the closer your birthday is to an eclipse, the more poignant it is. So I, it can't be more poignant or more personal than having it on your birthday. Right. And it was just then that, you know, I, within the 18 months before it, that was when my daughter had died. That was when my father figure had died. That was when I lost my marriage. So that darkness in the sky was my darkness right and there was this ring of light and it was like i had to choose my life and know that it wasn't going to be normal mm -hmm. yeah and go on this journey and i really feel that now that journey is culminating it's like ah oh, i've come back around i know what it's about and i know how to put it out there and offer it properly right very cool so, yeah eclipses um big big endings and beginnings for everyone but it takes a while to kind of understand like anything you know hindsight so again i don't like to do these too long but do you have anything that's up and coming that you want to share or maybe if you yeah. want to final it off with your book or what the culmination point of the eclipse uh, means that on the eclipse yesterday i launched my membership site where oh. it's like the whole journey of the last 18.4 years or 20 years, everything I've tried and discarded as I've gone on my journey has come back round and I've managed to put it all in one place and serve. So basically that's so many different types of daily readings, weekly readings and uh, monthly readings and other little things to keep you in alignment because my readings aren't about prediction so much they're much more about where my mis my wisdom meets your wisdom if i can speak i get it so basically <laughs> get my teeth in so basically it's uh it's classes and daily reflections like in the morning you get a daily video about the energies and you know, it gives you that time. It's about 10 minutes, that meditation time for you to really connect in. It gives you a monthly overview and monthly classes and there's live readings as well. So it's like everything I do in one place. Okay. Um, how, do, yeah. how do they find that? Is there, you got a domain name or something that people can find? Yeah, if you just go to tiffanycrisara.com okay, sure. now. How the heck do you spell that? I mean, uh, I, I will. You guys I'll put a link in there. Well. I'll put a link <laughs> in there. Yeah, thank you. you can just click Prisara it. is Italian, so it's a little bit harder to kind of, uh, but it's C R O S A R A. So it's tiffanycrisara.com. Okay. And it's easy on the site. It will just take you straight there, really. So I'm really excited about that because Perfect. it's just like, boom, there, and uh, feels like part of the eclipse. So I'm sure it's been very powerful for you guys yeah. in America. Yeah, yeah. I saw a little bit on the TV, and it looked very much like August 1999 did to me. Well, we didn't really have that much darkness up here in Minnesota. It really actually went a couple oh. states down, so it was a little, it was just, it was just kind of strange here, but it's all good. So Strange, a little dusty -like. I'm going to close this off and then beam it up to the internet and propagate it out to the world so people can find it. So Tiffany, I appreciate you taking the time. If you want to stay on after, we can have a little chat, but I'm going to close this thing off before I knock it over. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, I'll stay on. Okay. okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Much, Peace. Brad.